Hey everyone, let's play some games today. I'm playing the Druid in the Arena. I must protect it was the only class getting any votes, so gotta be the Druid. Alright, let's see. Not picking that, not picking that auction here. Yeah. yeah, that's decent, so let's go with that. And we have terrible card, pretty good card, and a decent card, so uh, let's go with the ooze. Alright, let's see. After Wild Growth, the Shield Bearer or the Geomancer. Not super filled with any of them. I think I'll probably go with the Wild Growth. Especially since I have an Auctioneer. So there's the potential for like double draw with it in late game. Uh, yeah, let's just go with it. Especially when those other two picks are there. Oh! Oh, oh, what is this? A whisk? A moonfire? Or a mad scientist with a class that doesn't have any secrets? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a moonfire. Because at least I have the auctioneer that I can play it with potentially. Like, I used to play with moonfires and auctioneers and construct it. But preferably, you have at least two auctioneers and like a violet teacher or something to really make the moonfires work. So here yeah, we have like two pretty bad choices and a decent choice. So let's go with the decent choice. Another whiz. Hmm. Okay, let's go with Savage Raw here. Not really getting the best of picks, but I mean, so far it's not too bad. It's just they're getting a lot of bad options. Let's see, mind control tech, decent. No, no, don't want to silence my option here. Yeah, questing adventurer, ah. Not. I rarely get enough value out of them, so let's go with the mind control tech. Harvest Golem is really strong, so let's pick that. Fairy Dragon, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go with that. Ancient of War is really, really strong in Arena, because you don't see those uh, Black Knights. Yeah, Ancient of War. Martin Squire, Armani. That's gonna be an Armani, I believe. <laughs> Lamo Butt, Mana Raid, Abomination. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I actually, I, there was like a list posted of like how many arena wins people got on average with like different cards and such, and I believe all these three cards had like significantly lower win percentage when you had them in the deck. The question is, which one is least bad? And I feel like the Abomination at least, like, sometimes it's useful. So let's go with that. Um, I don't like any of them. I think the Archmage is least bad. Yeah. Okay, so this deck is turning out to be terrible. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, look at this. What is this? I, th <laughs> I, th I think Stormwind Knight is not that bad. Let's go with that. Another Savage Raw. Yeah, against those two, I think so. Just gotta hope we get some forces of nature and maybe we can salvage this. Also, Savage Raw goes up in value when you have an auctioneer, of course, but... This is not good. Well, I guess I'm low on 4 drops, right? Hmm... <laughs> okay. Well, the Jungle Panda is not the worst card in the world. Okay, Silverhand Knight, it's pretty good. Another Moonfire... Uh... Lord of the Arena, Silver Moon Guardian, I suppose. Okay, Keep of the Grove. That is a legit good card. Happy to see it. I don't really want a third Savage Raw. Let's pick a Loot Holder. Uh, okay, Ascension. That's not bad. Uh, Warlord. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. Sunwalker. A good card. Dark Ivan Dwarf. A good card. Um, bad, bad. It's all right. Let's pick an owl. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see. I mean, I don't like. I really don't like the blue kill. I have one, two, three, four, five. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the Lord of the Arena. Okay, Iron Bark is really good in Arena, so let's go with that. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't. I mean. I don't really need any more two drops. I don't have very many minions with Battle Cry, but. Ah, uh, do I want to? Well, that's a battle cry. That's a battle cry. That's a battle. actually never mind. I have a fair amount. Let's just go with poison seeds. Oh, oh, hello. Well, hmm. How about that Kelphosad? I believe there was a comment I just read today about how oh I'm gonna gonna get Kelphosad in arena soon. And I guess you are right if you're watching this. Let's go with that. So, this deck is kind of all over the place. The one thing I will say is that it has a decent curve, which is really important in Arena. It has a couple of really strong cards. Well, actually, all these four cards are very good in the end game. So, the end game is solid. If I can get to that point, I don't have any swipes or wraps for that matter. I have a Moonfire instead, so it's a questionable deck. I I don't know. Let's go for six wins because it does have a good end game, but like then it has so many weak cards in it too, and it's just missing stuff like Swipe, which I think is a real bummer when you're playing Druid. <laughs> it doesn't even have any Druids of the Claws, which is a um, it's a common card, so usually you can get a lot of them, and it's just a really solid arena card. But nope, no such luck. No swipes, no druids of the claws. But we do have an Armani here to start out with. Let's see if we can get a free drop. Okay, not quite. The worst part is... oh, wow. <laughs> really strong hand, but for endgame. I just hope he doesn't have like a shadow word death when I get my... Ancient of War out, that would be pretty sad. Sumpy Chow, hmm, not great. But I'll play my Amani here, it's a reasonable response. Like if he attacks it and then heals up, that's not really gonna work that well for him because then I can just finish it off with the Amani next turn and he will have spent free mana on that Sumpy. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So it's just like an acro priest. No, okay. Well, that's a good trade for me, and it would be fine if I had a good follow-up. But I have nothing I can do here. I'll just uh, oh, attack the face. At least I have a good minion for next turn. And if he doesn't have a good play here, I'm in a fine spot since the sentient trades really well with the Sumpy Chow, obviously. All right. That's fine. That's fine. The sentient does good here. I wouldn't mind drawing a, a Moonfire since I have that option here. Would be nice to get the Moonfire cycled. Instead of just sitting on it later. I'm not too afraid of top decking though, considering like like this I'm not gonna run out of cards anytime soon. Where's my swipe though? I don't have any. <laughs> That's the problem, right? Oh, okay. So I can either play the auctioneer or I can play the ooze and hero power to kill that. And I think I prefer that. Yeah. Just hold on to the auctioneer for now. Because if I draw a Moonfire, it would be a great play. And also, I just don't feel like the and a naked auctioneer really accomplishes very much against this board. 
Not that this accomplished much either, but I just prefer that. All right. Hmm. Well, still looking for that swipe that I don't have. Poison seeds. No, doesn't really accomplish anything. I think maybe Starfire is actually best here. Starfire on the Sh Shieldmaster. It's not great, but I can follow up with an Ancient of War next turn. So maybe I can finally stabilize a bit. Let's just do that. I just really hope he doesn't have a Shadow Word death. I would be so sad. And I'm probably gonna lose if he has that. But let's see. If he doesn't though... I feel like I can turn this game around. Sure, I'm getting a bit low on life, but when that zombie child dies, I'm gonna gain some. What? Oh wow! That's kind of scary. Right, if he has Shadow Word Death, he has 10 damage on the board. So if he just needs two extra, that's scary. Okay. Let's hope for the best here. Don't silence it either. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in. Wait. Oh, I guess it would have. He couldn't have played anything with it anyway, even if he had played it earlier. Hmm. Maybe actually poison seeds would make sense here. Yeah. Follow me. It. Ah, it's just too bad. I can't really play anything good with the poison seeds, but. I mean, I played a Dark Iron Dwarf, I suppose that's alright. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. Can we do that. Not quite a big game hunter, but at least we got rid of that 8 8. Play a Sunwalker next turn, just keep trying to stabilize. Oh, I also have the kill for set. No, no, no. The kill for set is not gonna work. Too much damage here. Okay. So, let's play the Sunwalker. And probably the Jungle Panther. Because we killed that. I guess there's one out there. And thankfully, priests have troubles with those kind of minions. Sunwalker does really well against Yetis, two Yetis here. Just gotta hope he doesn't have silence. Oh, that silence doesn't matter, that's fine. Okay, again, like, swipe would be so good, but no such luck. Kelposat, though, is really good too, since I can basically heal up my uh, Sunwalker. Yeah, Kelphosad is amazing here. I can... Not... Well, I could play Savage Roll, but then I can't play Kelphosad. I need Kelphosad, obviously. Um, let's see... How do I do it? Maybe play the Moonfire too, just so I can get rid of that one. I'm not scared of that, so I suppose I just... Do it would be nice to play the Moonfire with the Auctioneer, but I'm not worried about cards here. I'm worried about well, I guess taking free damage is not so bad. I mean, I'm gonna get the taunt right back up. Okay, you know what? This is fine. And all this is only two because I also get the ammo. Let me end turn and then kill for that save today. <laughs> oh, Kelphosad, you're so good. Yep, that's fine. That's also fine. Let's see. Getting close to lethal too with the Savage Roll. We have 10, 18. Yeah, right, I believe that's lethal then. Because 10, 40, 18. 28 hero power. There we go. 
Wow, it started out so bad, but then... Um, what is it called? Kelfosad and the Ancient of War really saved the day. It could have gone horribly wrong though if he had had like a Shadow Word death for that Ancient of War, but he didn't. And I will definitely very happily take that win. Let's see what's next. Let's keep it up and get to those premium cards. I think Kelfosad is like... It's just... I really like that card. The only f the reason like, I don't really play it and construct it that much is just because it's kind of slow. But I think that's fine for Arena. So I think it's a really good Arena card. Okay. Well, that's probably a bit too early for you, Kelfasad, but... Yeah. Well, I have two two drops, so I think I'll coin one out. Let's see if I can get a free drop. Not quite. Well, maybe I should save the coin for the 4 drop then. Hmm. Well, let's see if he plays anything. There's also the chance that I will draw a freak drop here. No. I have some good 2 drops though. You know what? I think I'm gonna coin it out. Like, worst case, I can play. A third two drop on turn three. Also have the possibility of my like maybe hero power will be useful. Hmm. Hmm. Like maybe hero power right here, just to clear the board. It's either that or fairy dragon. But I kind of like the hero power idea. I get a 5 1. Hmm. Yeah. Very card efficient for sure. Okay, let's just do this. But I think playing a fairy dragon would have been fine too. But I just. I like clearing the boat. Then you don't have. Like, there's no way you can buff. Like he could have played like an abusive sergeant or something and run his croc into my Amani and I would have lost my Amani and he would still have his croc. So maybe this was the safer option. Alright. That's fine I suppose. Even though it's good value for him but it's not the end of the world. I think playing the loot holder here is good. The Fairy Dragon also trades with that, but... Yeah, it's just... I mean, I could also silence it, but... I think silent, saving the silence is probably stronger. Let's play the Loot Holder. Hmm. Thankfully he used that Mortal Coil last turn, so hopefully he doesn't have another one. What is that car he's looking at? He could play a five drop here, which we must cleanse the sun well. Oh, that's not good either. Hmm. Ah, he's getting a lot of. He's getting. He's doing pretty good, let's say. Okay, so how do I deal with this? To play the Silver Moon Guardian. I mean, it can trade for both of them. So can a shield master. The shield master would ensure that I don't take any damage. However, say he has like an abusive sergeant or something, I could lose the shield master to just one of those, like the free one. I could also hero power plus ooze. But oh, like fairy dragon. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Then again... I don't know, I don't have any AoE, so I should... should. Hmm. I, it's, it's a tough decision, I think. Time waits for no one. 
Ah, uh, you know what? Let's try and clear the board as much as possible. I'm just afraid of him getting like a whole bunch of stuff out there. And I don't want him to get any more value out of his one HP minion. Plus, it, you know, it made all his minions cheaper. Well, not all of them, but the first one played each turn. Yeah, I think that probably was the right choice. Ah, too bad I can't get the Sunwalker. Like, nothing good for 5 mana, I have good 4 mana, 6 mana. Well... I think I like the Silver Moon Guardian. Just because it trades so well with what's on the board, and again I'm afraid of him having like a buff or more coil or something. Getting rid of the Sentient with only one minion. I'm still fairly high on life. And I have taunts coming up, so let's just play that. Let's see, probably Sunwalker next turn. Unless I want to do something plus the Shield Master. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting, he decided to not do anything with the Panther. Not sure I agree with that, but fine with me, I suppose. Hmm. Sunwalker. Hmm. Well, it stops him in his tracks, and then I can play the Ancient of All next turn. But problem is, that would still be alive, and that's like 6 damage. That would almost kill the Ancient of All by itself. But what's the alternative like Lord of the Arena? I don't really like that any better. Starfire, it's just not enough damage to kill it, so I guess it's gonna be the Sunwalker. Let's see. He can kill it with what he has on the board. Would leave him with a 6-2. Or he could just siphon and soul it. I suppose better on the Sunwalker than on the Ancient of War, right? Still. But he's still hiding that Yonkle Panther. Interesting. But the thing is, like, I'm a druid, so if I had swipe, it would die anyway. Right, I think Ancient of War is pretty much the only thing that makes any sense here. He can still kill it, but. What can you do? <laughs> what else was I gonna do? Uh, it's a real shame, like, that he can just get rid of an Ancient of War so easily and still actually have a fairly strong board. Oh wow, the Soul Fire too. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I don't think even Kelfazad can save us here. Um, right. So, yeah. What to do? I can kill a minion with that and then play the Sentient, I suppose. I also have the Starfire, but if Starfire I can't really do anything with it. So if I do that, then he has 10, 12. Yeah, I think that's the right play. For the king. It's not For honor. great, but I think it's the best I can really do here. Yeah. All right. Warlocks are just always tough for me when I face them in arena somehow, for some reason. Alright, alright. Let's see. Swipe. Oh. Never mind. Swipe would not be that useful at all. Not anymore. Somehow I'm still at 16 life, but. What to do? What to do? Um, well, he has 7, 13, 15. Like, he doesn't have lethal on the board, but... Like, what am I gonna do here? Starfire on the 6-3? Maybe. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I could also do it on the 4-5, but I wanna get rid of as much damage as possible. Yeah, next turn I can play Keeper and Lord of the Arena, 
but if I survive, let's see. Yeah, let's just kill the two one also. It's not looking great, but not impossible either. I could get lucky and pull this off. Okay, well I have two silences, so I'm thinking I want to keep a that for two damage and then play the taunt to try and survive again. I must safeguard the land. Do that. Play this. Can get me down to five if what's on the board, but I think this gives the best chance of survival. Hopefully getting the Iron Beak on the Egg next turn. Okay, is that, a, is that it? I think it probably is. Yes. Seven... One short. <laughs> Someone called okay. I don't think there is anything we can really do here. Well played. There we go. <laughs> At least I got the last card. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!